been taking a look at some upcoming games. We did. Caught our eye that we, we thought we'd mention on the show today. So yeah, uh, I think it's starting off with a game from so a game from Avalanche Software. And it's a, a property everybody's really familiar with, Harry Potter. This one's called Hogwarts Legacy. It takes place a couple years before the Harry Potter story happens. It looks kind of like an open world game where you are a student at Hogwarts and you're going through, what is it, five years or six years? Uh, oh God. I, I feel really How many bad. years do those kids spend at Hogwarts? How old is he when he goes? I feel terrible. I love Harry Potter, but I have trouble maintaining facts in my brain about it. Uh, <laughs> it might be seven years, right? Year seven? That sounds right, but how old is he when he goes? He's 12. He is 12, yeah. So I guess he finishes when he's 18? Six years? I don't know. Okay. I'm not from Hogwarts, Michael. Well, first note I took, I, I thought it was uh, very whimsical looking. Mm-hmm. Trailer animation looked great. I think it was John Cleese, or sounded like John Cleese, doing the voiceover. I do not think it was John Cleese. It doesn't, it, I get why you think that, but I don't. I do not agree. I thought the cinematics looked really good. So I think there were times where some of the, the images looked obvious it was gameplay, and other times it was obvious it was a cinematic. Oh, my initial first thing I wrote down was, the opening scenes of the trailer are not the actual game, and that kind of always annoys me, because I'm like, I get that you're showing us what you can do. But that's not what I'm going to be looking at most of the time. And I don't count cutscenes as game. Like, I don't want a cutscene most of the time. I know you are not a fan of cutscenes. I bitch and moan <laughs> at the, about them constantly. I just, I just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. So it looks like there's, it's going to be a game with a lot of choices. Uh, probably a good versus evil morality scale where your choices will affect whether you're Gryffindor or Slytherin. Oh, you have made a lot more, um, I guess, assumptions about this game than I had. I didn't even get there. I just had reactions to, what the fuck is that? And that's kind of what it looks like to me. Okay. Well, it makes sense. Um, it, it seems to me like, yeah, you'll it'll probably be your career through Hogwarts. Yeah. And as you take different classes, you gain different wizarding skills and spells and potions skills and yeah, etc. And then, yeah, I think maybe there's might be an end game. Now, it's interesting because this uh, particular studio also developed a lot of the Disney games. So like Disney Infinity, Cars, Cars 2, Toy Story, all the like, so they did do a lot of big property games. Interesting. Like, as particularly for Disney. And then earlier on, they did in the 90s, uh, all the Mortal Kombat, games. not hmm. the originals, but I think some of the late ones later on in the late 90s, early so 2000s. So this is like an OG developer. It is. They started off with the Mor- doing Mortal Kombat, I think, for Warner Brothers. And it looks like for the last decade or so, they've been doing games for Disney. So I think they're good with handling big billion dollar properties but i don't know if they've ever like and that's just my assumption of what this game will be if this is an open world kind of choose your own adventure style game i don't know if they've ever tackled a game quite like that before so it'll be interesting if that is the type of game it is or if it's going to be a lot more streamlined like some of the other disney properties they've done in the past yeah all my notes were kind of about like what the fuck are the big eyed mini llamas i get (laughs) that there's a whole franchise that i kind of don't care about and like i love harry potter i love i was gonna say you gotta have your baby Groot. that's why oh that's true yeah or your baby ba- yoda yeah okay i get you what are the little things in star wars that everybody loves the baby yoda no 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 there's little furry creatures in star wars that oh people go wild over from the new movies yeah yeah i don't remember I, yeah anyways those movies weren't good <laughs> i didn't like it i anyways don't even get me started but i get that there's fantastic beasts and where to find them and then there's all these like crazy animals it sometimes feels like contrived to me this isn't my style of game anyways i don't love like the endless options that just i just get confused and like what the fuck am i supposed to be doing i dig the dragons like the dragons looked really fucking good in the trailer Mm -hmm. yeah some of those cinematics and some of the the more fantastical beasts they showed were pretty pretty fucking cool yeah Yeah. and it did feel very harry potter like very yeah but I also that think world. one of my notes is the classic Harry Potter music makes anything Harry Potter. Like you can, <laughs> as long as there's a wand and a cloak and the Harry Potter music. Put it at the beginning of Friends when they're all dancing around the fountain. Yeah, like it's probably, <laughs> yeah, you could just make it just about anything Harry Potter if you put the right music with it. I said like one of my notes, because I'm kind of a dumbass when it, like I don't, I, I call myself like a, in my head, I call myself like a light gamer. I'm not super heavy casual. duty into anything. Yeah, I'm very casual. Like I love what I love, but I don't have a wide array in terms of taste of video games. Like they're, I'm pretty singular. My view of the trailer was that I didn't still understand what the actual gameplay looked like. Like I want to see what the game 
looks like when I'm actually playing it, I'm guessing a lot of gauges and things weren't present on the screen for the trailer. Like, show me, yeah, show me what meters I'm looking at. Show me what the upgrade system looks like. Because as Michael can tell you, oftentimes I start a game and I'm like, this is way too fucking complicated. I don't want to look at 800 things to upgrade and change and do. I just get overwhelmed and then I don't want to do it.